This is a factory, modern lumber, which processes timber, logs per day, 200 logs per day, and uh, produces crates. It produces 480 crates per day from the 200 logs which are processed per day. To produce these crates, we also require labour. And for every log that we process, we require three labour hours. So that we can see that with 200 logs per day, three labour hours per log, that gives a total of 600 labour hours per day. Given the labour input and the logs input, we can calculate the labour productivity. The labour productivity is the total output, 480 crates per day, uh, divided by the labour input. So we need to add a formula here, equals output divided by the total labour input, 0.8 crates per labour hour per day. With all this data, we can also calculate the multi-factor productivity, but we'll worry about that later on. Let's just look at the formula which are used to complete the table so far. We do, we do this in Google Sheets by going to the View, All Formula, and you'll see the formula here for input labour is input material, 200 logs per day, we require three labour hours per log, and so therefore the input labour per day equals cell C5 times C6, right here. Similarly, to calculate the labour productivity, as we saw before, C12, which is the output, divided by C7, which is the total labour input. Now let's look what happens when we employ a professional buyer. The professional buyer is going to carefully select the logs that we uh, purchase for our factory. And the good news is that the professional buyer will increase our log uh, production rate. Uh, from 240 crates per 100 logs to 260 crates per 100 logs. So that's uh, the good news. Um, however, because we employ this uh, professional buyer, he becomes part of our input labour. So we had to add some uh, additional labour. How do we do this? Let's first of all explain what we're doing in our documentation. So daily production and labour productivity, including professional buyer. That's the easy bit. So we need to add an additional row above this row here to reflect the additional labour from the professional buyer. Before we do this, let me just uh, point this out here. We have this equation, C5 times C6, which gives us our input labour in currently cell C7. And you'll see we have C7 referenced here in cell C13, and referenced here again in cell C18. Now, stand by for a magic trick. We'll hide the formula again. Now, we go to our input labour. We're going to insert a row. We go to the left-hand row indicator. We right-click. We insert one row above. Input professional buyer labour. Oh, it's full day's work. Labour hours per day. And now we must modify this formula here by adding in C5 
cell C7, the professional buyer labour. 608. Remember to adjust your documentation over here. That's the professional buyer. And there we are. So, note the labour productivity has now improved and our output has improved per day. Now, look at how the formula have automatically adjusted to take account of us increasing, uh, adding the additional row. Let's look at the formulas again. View all formula. So, row 8 which was previously row 7, now has automatically taken C5 times C6, the original, added in the new C7. This cell previously read C13 divided by C7, now has been updated to reflect the change in row to, to row 8, C8. And similarly, this row also has adjusted to take account of us inserting the row. Just one of the wonderful pieces of magic of uh, a spreadsheet.